Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. Mm, as I discussed with a couple of people these days, you know, uh, somehow they all complained about feeling anxious and really dif difficult at their chest area uh, lately. So uh, I feel like we could do this reading because it is something on a global level, you know. I feel like a lot of people are feeling really... Uh, anxiety stricken with something in the air so uh, I thought that we could do this reading on topic why are you anxious so uh, it will be for all of us uh, including me you know who were feeling these days a little bit out of place you know uh, worries may be troubling our minds or we aren't really ourselves so um, this reading will be for all of you who identify with such problems. We will try to find out uh, some metaphysical as well as practical and pragmatic reasons for why we may be feeling like this. So uh, let's check. Why are you feeling anxious? Why are you feeling anxious? Why are you feeling anxious? This is something that's really, uh, you know, interesting me currently. Let's see. Mm. For many of you it will be related with the connection. With a relationship, it may be a platonic one, it doesn't have to be, uh, but let's see. Getting strongly, first of all, this may be related for some of us um, with our mother figures or uh, like somebody who was like mother, who was like aunt, some type of memories related to that. Uh, I feel like there's some type of deep heartbreak uh, related to mother figure or uh, it may even be type of a relationship where this other per person was very nurturing, very nourishing toward us. Uh, so, something is really, um, something hard is making this situation more difficult and I feel like many of you from this pile may be having some uh, heart chakra blockage or uh, it's like something may be sitting on your chest, uh, such is the feeling, you know, um, but let's see, we do have moon in Pisces here uh, and what I'm getting from this Mm, many of you are currently not seeing uh, things correctly. You are in some type of an illusion because when Pisces moon is uh, prone and uh, receptive of all type of influences. So for some of you it may be some type of other people's influence where they talked a lot about you guys. So you may have caught a little bit of their harsh energy. I feel like it will be related for some of you with a specific... Uh, with a relationship with a specific person, you know, I feel like you and this person didn't really end up in a good on a good term. So uh, I feel like this person may be having residual hard ener energy toward you guys, and this is somehow uh, reaching your energetic field. So that's something very significant. With Mars in the fifth house, I feel like for many of you. Um, and we do also have age gap relationships indication here so it may have been somebody older than you that wasn't really too nice to you uh, and they made you uh, like lose trust over the older figures or uh, mother father type of figures you know uh, this is something uh, significant with Mars in the fifth house as well I am seeing that uh, some type of experience may have occurred when you guys were in your adolescent age, so high school period. Uh, please do a thorough analysis of that uh, period because I do 
sense that uh, this period in your life is carrying strong message why you currently may be having these anxious thoughts you know uh, so this is something very quite significant to consider uh, when it comes to you guys mm, for some of you in this pile with Mars and Capricorn um, I am sensing there may be some type of either internal or outer conflict related to money, related to income. Uh, you guys may be worrying whether with cancer in the 11th house as well, you may be worrying uh, about whether there will be enough money, there will be enough resources to support yourselves. I see some great back-breaking burden. I feel like you guys are not feel feeling yourselves Lately, I feel like communication with others uh, who are close to you is not that good because you are overly in your thoughts, you are overthinking something, you are thinking as much as your brain can stand, really. So this is something amazing. Some of you with the Taurus in the second house may be overeating these days or you may be eating in a way that's not really benefiting your health so that may be contributing factor uh, for why you guys are feeling uh, these anxious thoughts you know uh, but let's see uh, for some of you it will also be related with the type of a relationship that you had in your past and you felt like this person didn't really do you well uh, they didn't give you justice uh, perhaps there there wasn't give and take in that relationship uh, and you can uh, figure out why why everything proceeded the way it proceeded. Uh, I am getting strongly that for many of you it will be the fact that you can't realize really why something didn't succeed. So it may be a specific relationship that uh, you know had all the, all the conditions to to be a huge success. However, it didn't happen. You guys can put a finger on. Uh, as to why it transpired the way it transpired so mm, I am sensing some type of uh, heartbreak related to that as well as with this moon in Pisces it may have been related with the person who was Virgo or they may had, have had strong Virgo placement some moon rising that's something also significant uh, to consider but let's see what else we have here really important to mention I do feel like many of you are pondering this decision whether to return into some type of a relationship from past that never really got uh, where it, sh it was supposed to be uh, or uh, it never really proceeded uh, fast as you guys thought it should so uh, this may also be the underneath uh, layer of what's making you guys anxious currently so uh, but let's see what else we have I'm sensing uh, divorce energy for some of you because we do have this queen of swords so if you were going through something similar uh, as of lately I am very sorry uh, for that as well but let's see I am getting also that some of you do feel this great deal of responsibility to over somebody who is like mother figure or older person in your family or something like that and this may be deeply in your subconscious like whether you will be enough to let's say take care of your somebody or something like that I feel like you do have some um, deep underneath, uh, how do I say, uh, worry that uh, something may not go uh, the way you want it to go, but let's see. Um, for some of you, I do sense that you guys develop, develop this anxious attachment style, which is contributing to all what I mentioned here uh, when it comes to your every relationship doesn't have to be a romantic one uh, so you guys may be constantly in this state of worry that you may lose somebody close to you like family member or uh, 
that something un unexplainable may happen that will uh, separate you guys from them so uh but you have to know that it's just in your mind it's your with moon in pisces as well your mind is playing games with you it's not real it's illusion it depends where moon is in our natal charts you know uh it will also have something to say about uh, your psychological state of being so when moon, moon falls in a bad house in our chart you know we may be having the psychological difficulties and things of that nature yes but this was our first pile i hope you like this reading if you did like and subscribe and thank you for listening let's go on to the second pile As I already said, many people were, were complaining to me that they are feeling anxious lately. So I decided to do this reading on topic, why are you feeling anxious? So what is contributing to the fact that you are feeling anxious? I'm already sensing some things. We do have here Jupiter and Scorpio as well as Jupiter in 8th house, so it will be very similar energies for this uh, pile. But what is what this is telling me, I feel like you guys may have had a lot of trauma in this life, a lot of things that uh, you may even not be able to proceed as fast as they come, as they uh, transpire in your life, so this may be something that's uh, becoming harder on you uh, with passing of time, you know, so uh, this is something significant to mention about this pile, you know, uh, and for many of you I do sense some type of event that happened when you guys were a really small child that's really influencing you, I feel like this event, um, how do I say, shaped your entire life, like everything was... Uh, everything was arranged around that event inside of your your psyche i mean uh because eight houses our past life that so i do feel that it happened for a reason that it was some type of karmic repayment for you guys uh and we have to be grateful you know uh because that's the way we spend our karma through difficult experiences and uh, I am sensing for some of you early death of uh, an important person. It may be a parent or somebody who was important figure. So this is something amazing. I'm also getting uh, for this pile. You guys may be feeling like you have to compete or fight or quarrel when it comes to money, when it comes to stability. Perhaps you are in a very competitive field you know you may feel like uh, this may be overly burdening for you guys like um, will there ever be enough money to sustain myself you know something along those reasons um, let's see what else for some of you I'm getting this idea that you may be feeling that uh, like always somebody else gets your uh, crushes or something of that nature. Like, can I ever be the one that's the winner, uh, you know, in this love field where everyone tries to find an ideal partner? You feel somehow perhaps that things are always on delay for you guys. Uh, nothing ever um moves easily so that may be something that's giving you guys a lot of frustration here so i do sense that a lot of these anxiety thoughts are coming from the delays uh, that you are facing in your life so especially delays related to your finances your stability your uh emotional fulfillment you know uh I feel like this is internally causing a lot, f lot of frustration for you guys. So that's something significant for some of you. I feel do feel like something around teamwork, around your colleagues. Something there's some type of energy that you feel like you have to be guarded from. You know, uh, 
it's like you may be always on the in the tension when you are in some type of work meeting or uh, you know just with people from your job somehow you may be suspecting that that everybody is having bad motives or something like that but let's see what else we have here some of you may be feeling like why am i like forever single or something of that nature uh, but i do get that uh, it is due to reason of your own healing and enlightenment you know i feel like you are on a pause uh, that was brought to you by destiny for some some type of a gift to you guys uh, so that you can um, maybe even process those earlier traumas uh, the go to yourselves more psychologically uh, I feel like for you guys in this pile your soul was tired so uh, the higher forces the God or uh, spirit whoever you believe in uh, were like no, you will give this period of time, get this period of time just for yourself, uh, you know, to, to develop your interests, your talents, to really figure out what you want to do with your lives, with your uh, financial affairs, how you want to bring about your stability, you know. Uh, so I feel like for you guys, it is really important to focus currently on your most basic primal needs. Take care that you have good sleep, that you eat well, that you are hydrated. Uh, do some type of uh, fasts, uh, you know, uh, so that you can make sure that your body is functioning well, that your internal organs in, are in perfect harmony. So this is something significant. Mm. Let's see what else we have here. For some of you, I am getting a little bit a glimpse of paranoia type of thoughts where you guys may be feeling that everybody is against you. But as I already said, this is just one period, this is a phase. Don't uh, don't give it too much of an attention because just think of this period as a period of time where you guys are not, not thinking clearly, uh, you're not seeing reality the way it is, but the way your current psychological uh, state represents it or the way uh, planets are serving your current karma for your psychological well-being. So. We all have these periods in month when we're, when we are just not at our best psychologically, you know, uh, and it has to happen due to the fact that moon goes through its phases, you know, uh, and it's always in a different part of our natal chart. So um, this is how it relates to our psychology. But let's see what else we have here. Some of you may be feeling that you are, your thoughts are bor uh, borderline uh, with schizophrenia, you know, you may be um, feeling so much in your head that you are wondering is this a disease or uh, whatever. However, I do see this just as a phase, as dark night of the soul, so uh, try not to give these states too much of an intention, so that's my main message for this pile. Uh, yes, but I hope you liked this reading. If you did, like and subscribe and thank you for listening.